The Buffalo Island Jamboree uh, actually started uh, in the Masonic Lodge in Caraway. The people down there wanted to play music. They knew my dad played music and me and some others. So we would go down there and play music in the Masonic Lodge and people could come in and watch, listen. And uh, it got to be where there's a lot of people there and it wasn't enough room. Well, we knew uh, Lockie Cornish. Lucky Cornish had a uh, uh, an auction here in the uh, Assembly of God building. The Assembly of God built a new building. They moved out, and it became uh, an auction. And so we started playing there because there was more people, uh, more room to get people in. And when we played, it just kept being more people. So we finally had to get all the auction stuff out, and uh, there was a stage there already. And we played on that stage for a long time and we didn't have any air conditioning it was hot we'd open the windows and have uh, fans going and at that time sometimes it gets so crowded people would stand outside and watch through the windows well then we decided to renovate the building and we put we pushed the stage back and put it up a little taller and uh, we had more room and finally we got air conditioners four or five air conditioners in the windows and then it got to be pleasant, you know. And we would have uh, potlucks once a month there. We had a snack bar in the Jamboree. And there's people from all over that would come around, all the towns around Buffalo Island. And there was a busload of senior citizens from Kennett that came down, and some from Memphis that came. And uh, we just played and had a good time. People really liked the music because the style of music that we played uh, you didn't hear it on the radio anymore. It was older music. Like Flop Your Mule. You don't hear that anymore. It was in the middle 70s and uh, when we sold it, uh, I was part owner of it. My dad was part owner. Devane Ballard was part owner. Bill Marshall was part owner. When we sold it, sold it to a guy from Paragool, he played music in it. And then... Uh, after that, he sold it to someone else, then sold it again to somebody else, and it's still in operation now. They have a dance there, senior dance. Well, anybody any age could go, but they play music and have... Jackie and the Blue Diamonds is who plays there now. Jackie owns it.